All right, we're here with LSU quarterback Jaden Daniels, uh, one of the most exciting players in this draft, and I was just talking to you about the incredible season you had. Um, when you see these quarterbacks come through year after year and, and you are interested in their journey, the first thing I want to talk to you about is your dad had you watch tape on all sorts of quarterbacks, not just Lamar Jackson, not just Tom Brady, but you were watching guys like Joe Montana. Yeah. Uh, explain to me that process, what you learned from watching the old school guys and how that correlates to the game you play, because you play a new school sort of quarterback at, at, at sort of what we're seeing in today's NFL. Yeah, he showed me when I was young. So, uh, you know, part of it I remember, part of it I don't. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I kind of go back and watch stuff now yeah. as I get older. But, uh, you know, just how cool Joe was. You know, obviously they call him Joe Cool. Uh, you know, in the big moments, he, he never blinked. Uh, every time they needed uh, needed him to needed to play, need, relied on him, you know, he went out and made it. Yeah, that's exactly what he did during the course of the season. I'm really curious just to kind of get into the combine process. First of all, just confirm for us who you've met with as far as teams and then which of those interviews stood out as far as a question you were asked or something you were asked to do during the interviews. Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of met uh, with a lot of teams, you know, the, the teams that need a quarterback, uh, you know, obviously the top three in the, uh, Atlanta, uh, Denver, New Orleans, Vegas, and, and things like that. So I want to say it was like just one team that, that stood out. But I, I love when I went in and everybody's just energy. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody gave me the energy. Uh, and it, it's, it's dope, you know, to be a part of the experience and, and be able to go out there and, and talk football with uh, NFL coaches. You know, that's something that I dreamt about. So it was kind of like a surreal moment for me walking to each room. Mm -hmm. It's a surreal moment for me, and I would imagine Josina too, watching you play. Because I went back and looked through my notes. Uh, and even before I tell that story, uh, yesterday we had on the edge rushers, and we had a couple of Alabama guys come through here. Dallas Turner, who you know, because Dallas Turner knocks you out of the game when you're about to beat. <laughs> you guys are about to beat Alabama, and he and Chris Braswell both said, uh, "Who's the toughest quarterback you face?" And the first words out of Dallas's mouth was, "Jaden Daniels was a problem." And I went back and watched uh, the Florida game, and you ran for 50 plus yards. Then you threw that dot down the field, 60 plus yards, and it just comes in waves with Jaden Daniels in terms of the, the, how dangerous he is. And when I watch you play, I see a lot of Lamar Jackson in your game. Is that something you sort of pattern yourself after, or is there no sort of comp for Jaden Daniels? No, nah, I, like, I don't like comparisons. Okay. Uh, you know, Lamar is Lamar, I'm me. Uh, but we do have some similarities, I, I'll say that. Um, I, uh, Dallas Turner was a problem too, so. <laughs> yeah, he uh, was. He was. Yeah. You guys were gonna about to win that game if we're telling the truth though. Yeah, he's a problem. So I'm curious, you know, as people are trying to discern which quarterback they take first, obviously among the top three or whoever may be obviously in that group too, uh, what do you feel like puts you in front? You know, we've heard the Orlovskis and people say you're a better passer or, you know, or what have you. But beyond just that, I also want to see how much you qualify how a, a player also handles pressure because that's one of the traits I feel like is a, it is, is a distinguishing trait even for me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh I mean, I, I've done with pressure my whole life. Mm. Um, a lot of people don't make it out from where I'm from. Uh, and there's a lot of talented people, uh, but, you know, they go down the wrong path. And, you know, I, I give credit to my, my family, my support system, you know, keeping me on a straight path. Um, so without them, I wouldn't be in this position. So, you know, I've been dealing with pressure my whole life. So uh, wherever I get drafted, if that's number one, if that's number 32, uh, obviously the pressure going to come. You know, I, I'm a first-round quarterback, rookie quarterback. Coming in, all eyes are going to be on you, especially nowadays with social media and stuff like that. And people, uh, everybody has an opinion. So uh, for me, I'll say kind of what separates me is uh, I probably have to lead that up to teams. But, you know, just the adversity I've been through, uh, the, my playmaking ability, and there's a lot of great guys out there. It's a lot of great – it's a tough decision to make. Obviously, you know, you got Caleb, Drake May, J.J. McCarthy, Michael Penix, those guys. So uh, they're all worthy of it. So we'll see on come draft day who goes first. So I don't know a lot, Justina, but I know he's not going 32nd overall. <laughs> that part I do know. Lamar so. went 32nd and did yeah, pretty well exactly. for himself. Right. If they <laughs> had a redraft. Not saying I am. Two time MVP. If you have a redraft, Lamar's not going 32. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure about that. Are you always the fastest guy on the field? Uh, yeah, I try to be. I, I'm, like I Are you faster than Brian Thomas? Oh, I'm faster than Brian Thomas. I'm faster than Malik Neighbors. <laughs> Let's talk about those guys because those guys are two dudes. Those guys both have a chance to be in the first round with you. Tell me uh, how important were they to the success that that offense had in the passing game because uh, you throw it up and they felt like those guys were always coming down with it. Yeah, I'll say uh, first and foremost, without my linemen, I wouldn't be here. So, you know, thanks to my guys back at LSU. <laughs> That's smart. Well uh, but without them, obviously, I'm throwing the ball. They don't catch it, you know. 
uh, when we're not sitting up here talking. So, right. Uh, they're very, they're very, I needed them a lot. Uh, we needed each other and we pushed each other each and every day in the off season. Uh, we all had the same common goal. You know, we want to be great. We want to be the best offense in the country. Uh, you know, we, we wanted to be, you know, first round talent. So, uh, without them, you know, I wouldn't be in this situation. You know, we pushed each other. So, uh, those are my brothers, man. But just to reiterate, Justina, he is faster than Malik and, and Brian. Yeah, please tell him when I said But, Jaden, I, I, I ran track at Chapel Hill, so I don't know. We can do a 40 right here after this interview if you really want to go for yeah, it. Yeah, we need 100 then if you oh, ran 100? track. Oh, 100? I'm just saying, whatever distance. But listen, really quickly, I have to get to this because you had a, you know, your relationship with Antonio Pierce, yeah. obviously back to your days at Arizona State as your recruiting coordinator. Now, the thing that's probably interesting, too, is the teams that potentially could come up for you. Right. What do you think is the potential that AP, you know, he's talked about how much he knows you, could potentially come up? for you man we're gonna see uh <laughs> we are gonna see uh you know ap is a great guy he's the right guy for the job and uh if he did and i hear my name call and i on draft day i hear my uh, hear my phone call uh ring and it's ap you know i don't know what i'll do so uh we'll see but right now you know i'm just blessed i'll take it day by day I, i'll let everybody handle that you know that's that's what that's what they're for you know i'm focused on being the best player the best uh, version of myself all right, Jaden, we'll let you get out here on, the, on an easy one. We're going to have you build the ultimate quarterback. I'm going to give you some categories. You can tell me which quarterback, current or past, best fits the description in your mind. All right, you okay. ready? Arm strength. Mahomes. All right, accuracy. And you can double up if you need to. Brady. Rushing ability. Lamar. Toughness. Toughness. Um, mm hmm. No, I'm, trying, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to go different. I'm trying to go different. He's one of them for sure. Toughness. Yeah, I'll give it to Josh. I'll okay, that's a tough one. Uh, size. Size? Ah, uh, see? You, just, uh, you can double I up. I can double up. Yeah. I can double up. Um, I'm going to give him Josh Allen, too. Leadership. Tom. Okay. Yeah. See, you can tell up. It's all good. There are no wrong answers, there Jay. No wrong answers. Listen, we appreciate your time and joining us here. And, uh, you know, good luck with the rest of your combine process. Thank you, guys. All right. Thank you. Back to you guys.